Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy Connor Falone here. <sighs> Had to do a good old stretch. And it's currently uh, April 7th, as of the time we record. And this it's 3.55 p.m. Now, you most likely saw the title of this video and are eagerly excited, my dear viewers, who, your viewers, who is expecting me to go, to me to just once again, just drop B-14 troop bombs, bombs, which is going to happen. But before that, let's talk about good old supply and demand. Man, I'm sure all those people who took economics and didn't sleep in class last surely pay attention when this little formula, this little system came up. Now, <laughs> you can read, read the definition here, but I'm going to give you my own ver and the definition that I was told in school. School. Basically, producers make, make supply and product. They deliver supply and product. Practice stores and business. Stores and shops. Shops. Consumers. Buy product. They like said product, and they demand a more product. And the business and slash corporation, vision slash producers making the product, decide to make more said product, to which gets them more money. Consumers buy, I demand, and producers supply it. Now, what happens is when the consumers don't like the product. Well, they say they don't like the product, they don't use their wallets to buy, you know, don't vote with your wallet, you know, that mental, you know, that style, style that, style that can work so long as people stay true to it, but don't vote with your wallet, which sends a signal to the corporations. Now, in current media, media there is also people who can now voice their opinions on why they don't like said product because of this, this, and this. So now, now the consumers can actively tell okay so this is what tell what people don't like about the current product so that way they can update and make a newer product that everybody will like like so that way they can make more money money so they stop supplying the product that people don't like like and then work on making a product that people will like now you're most likely wondering what well, Connor what does this have to do with with Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Oh, 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 oh dear viewer. Oh, by the way, to anyone who anyone who's just just joined the just joined this channel, please be sure to subscribe. I've <laughs> we got Pokemon Sword and Shield. Shit, 86 like this game. Quite interesting. But anyway, those who know Pokemon Sword and Shield, Shield know at least how this game's little uh, uh, controversy went. Or rather, those in the community who were actually saying they had to sadly deal with this, deal with shit, shit fucking crack fest that this whole garbage pile was. Was. In fact, I think we got a perfect YouTuber for the for this since he was one of the biggest people who benefited from the whole Bring Back National Dex movement. This in Kingdom. Hey, welcome back to the show, buddy. Dun, 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 dun. I swear, as soon as I can get some sound effects like that, we're fucking doing that shit. Shit. As soon as I can get an actual editor to edit this shit, we'll just have a fucking full of this just this black dox but coming into screen. Me being on the Eric Andre shit or being the host and Host, host, and then we, I can just roast the man. That's the man, like, saying, and because his voice ain't gonna be on the fucking we playing, so that way we can have some actual fun. Yeah, it's gonna be good jokes all around. Wait, what? Ah, who gives a shit? But this guy is making quite the rounds and rounds and making videos, videos on poke, videos about Pokemon, and rather milking the whole. Looking the whole sword and shield top topic to near end, near end, and since it boosted his channel to to insane degrees, degrees giving him actual notoriety, notoriety, and then hit all his old content. To which, even though he gave me a reason for it, I just find it to be sus as fuck. Fuck now. But well, regardless, because he made quite a number of videos. He was talking about <sighs> talking about sword and shield. 
how Sword and Shield annex graphics, its animations, animations, yada yada yada, the whole shibog. But I wanted to want to focus on the graphics. Graphics. I just used them as an actual point. Point. There's no real. Okay. There's no real. There's nothing other than that. I just wanted to use them as a point, an example of what was going on at that time. People were making constant videos on Pokemon Sword and Shield. 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 Constantly saying that they look bad. That oh my god, the graphics, the trees, double kick, who kick. I was calling people tree fuckers. Fuckers, and I was also questioning why in God's name would you even still have fucking can double kick in your fucking move pool pool there are a million other fucking fighting type moves the fact that you are using using fucking double kick shows how fucking trash you are as you are as a fucking trainer and shows how lazy you are in actually getting rid of a fucking shitty move who that barely anybody uses 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 after they are fucking done with and then find something better to use within their repertoire. I mean, I'm spinning the hot facts. We all know it. I mean, seriously, Game Freak saw that move so trash they decided, you know, but let's not even animate for this. Since why in God's name would anybody keep double kick? Yeah, let's fucking not do it, dude. Yeah, come on, fucking hell, man. Let's not. Now, you're most likely wondering, okay then, but what does that have to do with Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl? Patience, young Padawan, I've already given you the answer. Okay, since I'm gonna wait for you guys to give, for you guys to figure it out, see, see, time is gonna go, so. Dun, 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 Dun dun do 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 do. All right, a minute's pass. Did you write? Did you put down the answer in the comments? Oh, you didn't think? Didn't know you had to put it in the comments, did ya? Ah, fucking gotcha. Gotcha. But it's uh, seriously, in all honesty, uh, see if I were to be blunt, blunt. <sighs> the community is actually actually massively at fault for the way way brilliant diamond shining pearl looks. Now you're most likely about to start saying, uh, Conrad, how could we be at phone? We weren't the ones who suggested this style. 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 I hope to Game Freak. Now, uh, that's where I'd say, you're fucking wrong. <laughs> because, uh, sadly, because frankly, I know for a fucking fact, heck, that act that one thing was fucking sure, sure was fucking happening. And it's here. Why I don't want Pokemon Diamond Pro Remix to come out this year. That's a video that I made on January 11, 2021. And after I made that video, I made that video, I saw more and more videos about people saying they do want Diamond and Pro Remix Remix at all, or that they're scared of Diamond and Pro Remix, or that Gang Freak could destroy Diamond and Pro destroying Sinnoh or I'm scared because they might try to force in Gigantamaxing Xing. Xing. or they might try to ruin Raidens or insert other crap here there are people who said they don't want Sinnoh being bastardized because we want Sinnoh to be perfect pristine to stay the exact same we don't want Game Freak Ruining Sinnoh in any sort of way. Hey, we want Sinnoh to be perfect. Be perfect. Re be the exact same thing as it was in the original. <clears throat> you know the whole car term, be careful what you wish for? This is proof of its fucking existence. Seriously. You whine about and about how Sinnoh should stay the exact same. Gang Freak, here's this. Here's this. And it's like, okay, we won't do anything to Sinnoh. We'll make sure it stays the exact same. Because you guys asked for it. Because keep note, they're gonna be listening to you because of the whole fucking shit storm 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 with fucking with fucking Gen 8 with fucking sword and shield. They're gonna be listening. 
and this is the thought process that they are going to lead to. They're going. Junichi Masuda is going to Elka and he's going to tell them, "Let's in okay, let's go. Let's try to make sure this is as accurate as possible, so to the original, but has some modern touches, touch-ups to make it good." That is what's gonna fucking happen, you fucking idiots! It's all the people making, oh, why Sinnoh remakes are so worrying, oh my god, the Sinnoh remakes are so bad, 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 and are trying to figure out why this fucking happened. Look at the fucking mirror, mirror, and, mirror, and you'll find who's the fucking blame. And don't try to use, use Daniel's Kirby me as a way to justify your shitty behavior, survive your fuck up. We all know, all know who really is in that mirror, mirror right now, and it's fucking you. Now, I don't mean no disrespect, but it's the fucking truth. Come on. I'm sorry I got too heated there, but frankly, this needs to be fucking bled out. Let out for all of you to fucking know. You're all the cause for this fucking problem. Problem. Um, you're all the ones who asked for for I swear. It's funny because you guys really don't see how fucking mo fucking much power where you all have as the fucking consumer. Consumer. It's really fucking hilarious to me. Honestly. Honestly. Because keep note. Note. Yeah, I'm betting most of you are about to say, but Conrad, Pokemon Sword and Shield sold so much and got them so much money. Why would they be pay attention to us? Uh, maybe it's because frankly, they want to make sure they can keep having money? Look, I can't, look, keep, no, no, we can all say shit about fucking EA. EA all day. All day. Hey. They're a fucking EA. They're a piece of fucking shit company that doesn't give a fuck about uh, its gamers. That's a fucking fact of life. Like, they may have one point cared in the past. In the past when they were starting up. But they don't give a damn now. Game Freak, Freak at the very, barely, at very least, gives a shit about its own fucking, fucking fan base, base, base. At least enough to actually try. Try and make actual fucking... Well, not... Actually, try to listen and pay attention to what people want in the Sinnoh remakes, so that way, excuse me, so that way they can make sure that they are the best Sinnoh remakes, because they are fucking possible for the consumer. And Kate, no, the likes to this, like on this video, this 2.5 million views video, shows that in the end, the people whining about this, this are the minority. It really does show. Heck, even in the Twitter comments that I saw in the past, people who were trying were whining about this, this got fucking overshadowed by those calling them out for how petty they are, they are in their own fucking comments. Sorry, I just went no cap on this shit because it's the fucking truth. Truth. Look, I get it, you're upset. Set, I really do, do, but once again, keep note that there, no, no, for me being as brutally blunt as possible, you're the ones who created your own fucking problem, problem. Now keep note, there are people who like the Chiba design, design, sign, sign. There are people who are neutral towards it. Now. Are you going to harass these people to agree with you? Or are you going to accept that these people have their own opinions and you just need to agree to disagree? I am dropping this actual fucking levels of truth and information on everybody's faces because this is important that you all need to know this. Why is it important that you all need to know this? So that way I don't have to be fucking a... See, see a bunch of fucking people whining about how, oh my god, welcome gay freak is just not listening to us. No, 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 they listen. It's just that you got the worst possible. So you got what you fucking asked for. Again, be careful what you fucking wish for. And before that, before that, before we just leave here, I, I just want to talk about the community's actual fucking levels of hypocrisy. See when it comes to oh 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 shit yeah yeah we're gonna yeah new the world ends with you is gonna be coming out on summer twenty fuck but I just 
want to be kind of blunt and talk about this. I can't know the same people who were always just pray, who are always people who want quality content to people with maturity, maturity, maturity that want better content from Game Freak. You know, they're the same people who will praise the trailer that was made in a week and say it's 20 times better than what Game Freak ever gave us. Thus, King Note, these are the same people who are desperate to try and label, label Game Freak as a bad company and that every game they're making currently is garbage and or trash. And King Note, I made a video literally proving that the dude who made the actual video that his game that his little trailer was not even all that good to begin with I even stated that if I was gonna be a brutally blunt one and all br brutally blunt and cruel well I would give him a D I'm starting to question that grade grading hitting I might have been too nice with that one okay that that's a bit cruel I mean it's not like Rhapsody Street because we'll even Santa bad that it's no way in hell I would give it give it given a fucking F <laughs> But it's not as great as people say it is. Yes, the fact that he did it within a week, it shows how little effort he actually put put into it. I'm just saying, that's just me being blunt. That's just me being brutal. Me having no cap in any sort of way. I don't mean any disrespect, but frankly, I would have liked it if he put more effort into it. Like gave it a month, month's worth of effort. Effort, not a week. Week, most likely would have gotten a B. B plus or an A minus, maybe, but I don't know. Seriously, plus the lighting thing. I honestly was questioning it because I find it more funny that you know, Destiny King praises this trailer. Trailer. I actually saw him in the comments. He actually fucking praised that trailer in the comments. I saw his comp. They're praising it, praising it, seeing it, showing that even he has shit taste. But then again, don't we all have shit taste? I'm looking at you, Giga. You loving era manga sensei? What the? Say what the fuck? You, you like that garbage? Like that level of fucking garbage? That's that's just that's just horrendous. That just terrifies me on how shit people's tastes are these days. Uh. <laughs> okay, but enough of me blowing some fucking hot air. I just wanted to say that ultimately the community's opinions. Oh yeah, and the funniest thing was when it came to that, and when people were criticizing it on Twitter. Twitter. I actually went to Twitter to see what, see what the actual, how people's opinions were on it. And funny enough, one of the arguments that I saw people were actually using, and which was getting the most likes, was it was one dude against a corporation. You can't put the same level of quality. And to those who watched the video, video after my critique would know, yes, you can. That's a load of bullshit. If anything, it's pathetic to even dare to try and justify. So my dad has a fucking response. Response. Because it's garbage. Seriously, anybody who uses that, it really is a pathetic excuse. Used to just give the man a pass. Pass on making bad content. Because it was one guy. Yeah, and Toby Fox made Undertale. That was one guy, to my knowledge. So, uh, where, where's the quality? Where's the quality difference here? One guy made fucking Undertale. Undertale. Am I not supposed to equal him to a level of a corporation? Corporation? Because if he was able to make a game that fucking good, good. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just say his game's a masterpiece and not question it whatsoever? Okay, no. Undertale is a good fucking game. I haven't fucking played it, okay, but I've seen it and I know it's a good fucking game. 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 And I know for a fucking fact no one is gonna fucking question me when I say it's a good fucking game. Although sir, some people say, ah, I don't like Undertale Twitch I was which agree to disagree. Remember that's the rule here. here. But I find it more funny. Or rather we could have a discussion about it. People could have a discussion about it and hold in the comments. I don't really give a damn. But I find it more funny funny that people are willing to use the whole oh no, that's so good because a corporation argument when it comes to a trailer that is not even as good as people are saying it is after you watch it more than once. Keep note, a trailer is supposed to get you to be hyped and excited for the product. Product. Right. That you can watch multiple times over. We're desperately trying to comb for any sort of information to make you desperate to know what's going on within it. 
right? So, my biggest question is, how come a trailer that was made by one person and where he actively admits that he did it within a week, but yet people are praising the literal hell out of this trailer, of his trailer, saying it's a masterpiece, saying that it's amazing. Keep note, there are most likely people who are saying that in the fucking comments. So you guys know I'm not fucking lying if you look. Look. So, my biggest question is... My biggest question is, where is that, where is the mature low, where, where, where is it? You, you know, where is, where is it? Where is the criticism? Where is the mature Pokemon community that's willing to be good, upstanding critics and actually criticize the products that some people make? Keep note, I understand that when people make fan games, we're a bit more lenient towards them. Because these are fan-made projects. We can't expect them to be at the same level as the poke as Game Freak or the Pokemon Company but when it comes to them making the product. Although if you were to product, although if you were to ask me be having correct move move animations for every single move should be like a given and at that point, but I digress. Yes. But I thought when it came to Sinnoh and the animation trailer, I thought there'd be a bit more people being a bit more, you know, honest, mature, rational. I didn't know we were just going to give this man a... Okay, no insult here, but I have to say this. A good old-fashioned circle jerk praising him to high heaven, saying it's a masterpiece of a trailer. Amazing! Godsend! Like, oh, oh, so we're not going to be the mature audience or community. He yeah, actually does give criticism. We can admit it's a decent trailer, but it's not a masterpiece. But no, 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 no. It's either a masterpiece or nothing at all. No, you can't say it's a bad trailer, right? Because it's a masterpiece. Masterpiece. Heck, even the people who are critics fix up Pokemon say it's a masterpiece. So it's automatically a good thing. Yeah, that's because they got no fucking spine. Along with that, they got no fucking pride. Oh, oh, I'm a block. Oh, oh, I just did a double K. Double fit. <laughs> 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 I just gave him a oh, one, two. There we go. Fuck. Hell. But it's really amazing how hypocritical the community is when it comes to its own standards. Oh no, we the community aren't going to criticize ourselves. Else, that's just too barbaric. We'll find, we're fine. We're We're fine with just uh, shooting a. Shooting a bucket load of fucking lead at Game, Game Freak at any fucking time because they make product. It doesn't matter if they're given a shitty release cycle, recycle, cycle. When Mario and Zelda are given even more fucking respect than them. Doesn't want to do that for a video? Go fucking I, right ahead. Just thanks for the credit me for, for your fucking idea. But y'all know I'm fucking right. The release schedule for Pokemon is fucking garbage. Garbage. If they actually actually get a better release schedule, or actually made more spin-off games, games to actually get the, the give Game Freak more time to make good product, make products. Because we all know we get to be getting a better product, but that doesn't happen. You wanna know why? Because no one fucking asked for it. Twenty-three minutes. Holy fucking shit. I just want to just release that whole no cap shit. Cause fuck, fuck this so argument. I'm, I'm just being clear. I really don't like the argument people use for why this game is bad. Keep note, I look at the trailer, I watched it. I honestly did watch this trailer. And I actually like it. I don't like it. Let me be honest, I really don't, don't hate it. Because, one, we've had chibi designs for like, like, from Kanto all the way to fucking Unova. We could say, say Sinnoh, no, Sinnoh at best, but we've had chibi designs beforehand. And, and it was all the way to the all five generations. And generations. It's, it's only till Gen 6. Six. That's when we had non-chibi designs. We actually had more human-like models. Models. 
Plus, if I'm going to be honest, we don't even know what the game's going to be like. At best, it could be good, it could be bad, it could be neutral. I don't fucking know. I'm not a fucking genius. Genius. I'm not fucking God. I can't see through the fucking future. I'm only a dude who can make a good argument and point out the fucking hypocrisies with this community. One, and how it doesn't actually criticize the police itself, but loves to police and criticize Game Freak to no fucking end. This community has no bars within its own self when it comes to actually criticizing its own fucking criticizing its criticizing the stuff that we the fans make make to which I get it people make this because it's fun I understand that no cap I'm not saying that we need to just start bullying people who make fan games that's not what I'm saying saying I'm just saying that if you're gonna hold Gang Freak to a high fucking standard we the fans need to hold ourselves to a high fucking standard it's an insult so when I see a bunch of people fucking just blasting, blasting, seeing Game Freak and Ilka for making a fucking product, a fucking product like that they themselves demanded for, then when some dude makes a fucking trailer, that trailer that's a C, C plus, plus, plus that's like slightly above average, which it's not. Th that's slightly above average, not like above average or super above average. It's, it's slightly. That's not good. <sighs> and people just praise that trailer to high heavens. That poke poker tubers who were supposed to be of high critical standard praise it to high heavens, showing that ultimately every single fucking person in this community. He is a fucking goddamn builder at hypocrite crit who has no fucking pride with pride with actually being a critic within this whole fucking franchise. Chase, that's me holding no cap. Cap cap the Pokemon community is the community is at fault for why Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl the way it is. Is this is your boy Connor Valone signing off. Be sure to like and subscribe if you want more or me dropping some cr brutal B14 troop bombs on y'all. Yo, I mean no disrespect to anybody who watched this, this or anybody, anybody who I may have name dropped within the fucking con fucking video. But then again, again I fucking just just call said that each and every single person who was praising this trailer, there is a fucking hypocrite on all fronts. Fronts, fronts because I'm that much of a dick. Dick. But then again, I just state that because frankly, if you want better quality, you should at least fucking stand by your fucking morals. And if anyone's about to start coming in my comments saying, ha ha, I didn't praise that trailer, you better not test me because I will come back and go, I will come and get those screenshots. Don't test me. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way, with that part, that last part, that last bit, I'm not gonna do that. That because frankly, I am not gonna waste my brain cells. Seriously, I fucking call this call this. I need I need to fuck and all of them are just focusing on that. So this is just Yeah. But anyway, I'm done. Done. Till next time guys. Bye. Yeah. Did I say yeah. Like, subscribe, share this video with video with your friends or friends or whatever social groups you got. Got hit the bell if you haven't for fudge six six. I know you guys haven't guys aren't hitting that bell, and I know that over ninety fucking percent of you aren't subscribed. I mean, subscribe. Anyway, anyway, love, stay safe, safe. Don't do anything stupid, stupid. You're all smart in that, in that, and that. God gave you a brain, you a brain, brain. Rain, don't waste it. You're intelligent, amazing people who can do wonders for the world. This is Connor Valone signing off. I'm just sitting here I got time It's clear to see
from up here The world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful You and me We meant to be In the great outdoors Forever free 